Hey guys, welcome back to my Jurassic Park Raptor Comics series. This is part 7 of 10, so if you haven't caught up with the other parts of the story, make sure to go back and watch the earlier episodes in the Raptor Comics playlist on the channel before advancing. Now we last left the natives turning on the team from Jurassic Park and Alan Grant shooting the raptor Betty after she attempted to kill Ellie. Now the remaining dinosaurs have destroyed the bridge that leads across to the canyon where they've run and we continue our story following them through their long trek into deep jungle. After running all night in an effort to put distance between them and the humans, the raptors stop to rest in the dense jungles of South America. The memories of their killed kin come rushing back to the animals in this brief moment of relief, and the realization that there are now only two left in the world is a reality they must accept. In the air above them, Malcolm Grant, Sattler, and Muldoon are searching for the raptors via helicopter with little success. It becomes clear that they are not alone in this rainforest, though. We're guided through the binoculars of a separate character in this vast paradise, one who seems to be closely observing a gorilla of all animals. The gorilla stops after picking up a new scent and descends into the jungle to locate its origin. Celia and Alf come into view only 500 yards ahead and stop immediately once greeted by the fierce aggression of this ape. The raptors split up and assume flanking positions. An attack comes from the front, but it's just a distraction. However, the gorilla is far more formidable than the humans they're used to. The gorilla retreats and is quickly followed by its jungle observer. High above in the sky, Muldoon is shocked to see a gorilla running around in the rainforest. Everyone on the team seems intrigued at the oddity of seeing an African animal roaming one of the Americas and decides to land their helicopter and investigate, telling the pilot to head back to base and refuel. Malcolm's usual sarcasm and subtle humor seems to annoy Muldoon, and Alan Grant attempts to defuse the situation with some logic of his own about the predicament they find themselves in. Malcolm lingers back and tells Dr. Sattler it's nice her boyfriend stood up for him. Sattler laughs at the thought of calling Grant her boyfriend, to which Ian attempts to find a new name for him. Main Squeeze? Steady? Swain? Flame? He asks. Her response is quickly given as being somewhat redundant and a waste of time. Alan begins to notice these advances and asks Ian if he's interested in talking some sense into Muldoon. Of course, the chaotician takes advantage of the situation immediately. Grant then shares his uncomfortableness with her hanging around Dr. Malcolm and asks if he's done anything she would object to. This causes a dispute between the pair when Alan brings up the raptor he killed to save her life and if it bothered her. She, of course, lets him know this isn't the case and makes it abundantly clear that he is indeed her flame. Finally, Muldoon comes upon the area they saw the gorilla. While observing this land, Ellie is grabbed by the beast and lifted into the trees. Muldoon opens fire, much to Grant's displeasure, but Robert assures the doctor he's only firing off a shot to scare the beast and isn't going to hit Dr. Sattler. Grant calls out for Ellie desperately in the middle of the forest until the trail is lost and the doctor is nowhere to be found. Elsewhere, the raptors have begun their ambushing of a small jungle animal, and while they eat their kill, they are observed by the same gorilla watcher from earlier. This viewer has some apparent background in animal communication, and deduces the raptors to be signaling signs for happiness, trust, and peace. It's revealed that these two seem to be starting a courting ritual, and while the two dinosaurs descend into the deep bush, the observer's theory on the animal's mating appears to ring true. All the way in California, we are taken to the corporate headquarters of InGen and meet up with John Hammond. Hammond is accompanied by a man named Edgar, whom he's employed. They believe that the theft of the raptors and Hammond's visitors was bankrolled by their rival genetics company, Biosyn, the same people responsible for Dennis Nedry's embryo theft and subsequent chaos in Jurassic Park. Hammond has let their attacks go previously unchallenged because his project was supposed to be kept secret, but now he feels the these repeated assaults demand an answer, and he wants Biosyn to feel the same type of pain he is feeling, and says there is hunting to be done. Back in the forest, the two raptors are forced awake by the loud presence and challenge of the same gorilla. After putting Ellie down, the animal assaults the raptors and comes close to killing them for being in his territory. The raptors begin to viciously tear into the beast, however, and begin a new strategy. The raptors inch closer to the ape and flank him from the front now instead of the side. This unusual behavioral shift surprises the gorilla, and as soon as it takes one step back, it learns the hard way that the dinosaurs have positioned him to descend down the side of a steep cliff. After the gorilla is taken care of, they quickly run back to search for Ellie, but are left fruitless in their pursuit, as she's already ascended a higher tree in the midst of their battle. Fearing any more trouble, the raptors depart this dangerous place and journey even deeper into the jungle. Grant and the rest of the team make their way to the site of this battle and are quickly relieved to find Dr. Sattler unharmed. She and Alan have a reunion that he deeply appreciates. The raptors continue their trek in the jungle until they are greeted by the large whirling blades of a helicopter. The observer jumps out of her transport and begins to motion hand signals to the dinosaurs. Somehow, these raptors understand these gestures made by the woman. Peace and trust. And for the first time, the animals actually don't attack the new human they've just met. 
these issues keep getting weirder and weirder. I'm really interested in learning where that gorilla came from and how it got in the middle of the rainforest, and I'm also taking a lot of interest in seeing what Hammond wants to do in retaliation for the attack that was made against Jurassic Park. The raptors mating is something I was expecting to happen a few issues ago, and even if the dinosaurs are obvious siblings, it seems life is still attempting to find a way, despite the setbacks these creatures have had in their struggle for survival so early on in life. I'm genuinely excited to see where the series goes from here and hope you all are too. Now I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch today's content, and hope you leave me a like if you think I've deserved it. If you're new, I hope you also consider subscribing so that you can keep up to date with my latest material. I'll see you all in the next video, and as always guys, take it easy.